there's usually three levels of gang members. You have your wannabes. They'll start calling themselves vice lords, crips, bloods, but they actually have no real connection. And then you have the mid-level gang member uh, involved, but not willing to do hardcore crimes. And then you have your hardcore gang members, which is what Knockout was, Lewis Mays. His title was three-star uh, minister of literature, so he had all the knowledge. He was a high-ranking vice lord, and he knew all the other high-ranking vice lords. Well, the gang members usually call that false flagging, which means you're saying you're part of a gang when you're really not. In gang rank, if you have something that goes wrong, somebody disrespects a gang member, violates gang rules, they can be served a V or a violation. You can have a fist fight, you can have a situation where the person getting the violation is not allowed to fight back and multiple people fight with them. There's even what's called a pumpkin head deluxe, where you beat a person so badly their head swells up like a pumpkin. Different violations occur for different rules that are broken. Did he mean to kill him? I don't know. The fact of the matter is, they were looking for Christopher Wallace, and they were armed. This boy who killed him was 17 years old. He was young and immature, and he didn't think things through, so he acted on his own rashly and thought that it was fitting for him to take a person's life. You see this senseless violence where you have essentially an epidemic of young kids being murdered on our streets. There are good single mothers and grandmothers who are doing their best uh, to raise these kids, but they can't afford to get their children out of these neighborhoods where the gangs are trying to run them. The number of kids that are getting left behind is astronomical.